Hi, grade fours. Um, I'm moving a little bit back to topic five, um, unit one, natural and human-made animal shelters. And if you remember, we um, did this topic at school, but some of you were absent, so I added it to the lockdown work. Okay, so you only have to do this if you uh, didn't do it in class. Okay, so usually when we start with a topic five, um, or any topic, we start with a summary, okay? So we have a block for our keywords, and if you can see, there's three keywords that we're going to add there. We have a block for natural animal shelters, and we have a block for human-made animal shelters. So obviously, the topic is natural and human-made animal shelters, okay? So our goal is to learn about natural and human-made animal shelters, and we have to be able to identify um, which ones are human-made and which ones are um, natural. Okay, so let's quickly look at our three keywords. Um, natural, something formed in nature. Human-made is something made by humans. Easy, no? Okay, shelters, structures that protect animals, birds and insects from danger and bad weather. So, if you go to your uh, summary, you have to add the three keywords over here. And I made an example to show you how to do it. You can um, color it in your own way, add pictures if you want to. It's all up to you, but try to do it as neat as possible because you, you, we use this to study for our tests. Remember that. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, here we have a couple of pictures and uh, it is natural animal shelters. Okay, natural is formed in nature. So over here we've got a beehive. And the beehive, um, bees built their own beehive. Okay, there we have a termite mount. Uh, termites built this mount out of sand and soil. Okay, here we've got a weaver's nest. A weaver's, a weaver's built their own nests and they use grass. There we have a swallow's nest. They use mud. We have a meerkat burrow and they dig this burrow for themselves. Here we have an owl in a hollow tree. Usually they find this hollow trees. Then we have a wasp nest. They build it out of um, mud as well. Uh, here we have a snail and a shell of a snail. It's born with that shell. And then we have a spider's web. And we all know that spiders build their own webs. Okay, so these are natural animal shelters. Okay, so over here we've got human-made animal shelters. So it is shelters made by humans. Okay, so here we've got a dark kennel, a terrarium for a snake, Fish bowl for a fish, um, bird's nest, a barn, chicken coop, a stable for a horse, a zoo cage, and a sheep's pen. Okay, and here you can also look at the materials. Um, the kennel is made out of wood, the fish tank or the fish bowl is made out of glass, terrarium glass, cage wires, um, the barn wood. Chicken coop wood, stable wood, cage wires, and then the, chick, uh, the sheep's pen is also wood. Okay, so what I wanted you to do, and most of you did it in class already, is to add all the different examples of natural and human-made animal shelters. I added pictures because pictures help us to study and remember the work.